Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the angels. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Sing, O 
joy for song to the Lord, Alleluia. Let the heaven and earth rejoice, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. On this first Friday of the month, we celebrate the votive Mass of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Let us continue to implore the Sacred Heart of Jesus for all those who are suffering and are in distress during this pandemic. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share to eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. Anna sat watching the road by which her son was to come. When she saw him coming, she exclaimed to his father, Tobit, your son is coming, and the man who traveled with him. Raphael said to Tobiah before he reached his father, I am certain that his eyes will be opened. He smeared a fish gall on them. This medicine will make the cataracts shrink and peel off from his eyes. Then your father will again be able to see the light of day. Then Anna ran up to her son, threw her arms around him, and said to him, Now that I have seen you again, son, I am ready to die. And she sobbed aloud. Tobit got up and stumbled out through the courtyard gate. Tobiah went up to him with the fish gall in his hand, and holding him firmly, blew into his eyes. Courage, father, he said. Next, he smeared the medicine on his eyes, and it made them smart. Then, beginning at the corners of Tobit's eyes, Tobiah used both hands to peel off the cataracts. When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around him and wept. He exclaimed, I can see you, son, the light of my eyes. Then he said, Blessed be God, and praised be his great name, and blessed be all his holy angels. May his holy name be praised throughout all the ages, because it was he who scourged me, 
and it is he who has had mercy on me. Behold, I now see my son Tobiah. Then Tobit went back in rejoicing and praising God with full voice for everything that had happened. Tobiah told his father that the Lord God had granted him a successful journey that he had brought back the money and that he had married Raquel's daughter Sarah who would arrive shortly for she was approaching the gate of Nineveh. Tobit and Anna rejoiced and went out to the gate of Nineveh to meet their daughter-in-law. When the people of Nineveh saw Tobit walking along briskly, when no one leading him by the hand, they were amazed before them. All Tobit proclaimed, how God had mercifully restored sight to his eyes. When Tobit reached Sarah, the wife of his son Tobiah, he greeted her, Welcome, my daughter. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. Bless your father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, and blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessing and joy. Come in, daughter. That day there was joy for all the Jews who live in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, Alleluia, kami ay gawin kong daan. Nang iyong pag-ibig kapayapan at katarungan, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the Jewish people, the Messiah would descend from the line of David. And that is why one of the Messianic titles is Son of David. That is to confirm that 
the Messiah is indeed authentic, that the Messiah around them is truly human in the sense that he descended from a human line like David. My dear brothers and sisters, the crowds, especially the scribes, refused to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. And that is why Jesus, while he was teaching in the temple area, asked them, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is a son of David? For David himself said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. Jesus, quoting the psalm, a Davidic psalm, told the people that David himself would call the Messiah Lord. And the title Lord, Kyrios, from Greek, means not only an ordinary lordship, but it is a divine lordship. In other words, when you are called Lord, Adonai, you are considered God. And the son of David is not only human, but also David would call him Lord. David would call him God. My dear brothers and sisters, the scribes refuse to recognize Jesus as a Messiah when Jesus himself clearly told the crowd about his identity as the son of David and David would call him Lord or God, quoting the Psalms. But for us, in the practical level, we ask ourselves, how is Jesus Lord in our life? How does Jesus Lord our life? Is Jesus truly our God? Or many would worship instead money, especially when we are in difficult situations, people in despair would rather turn to evil ways in order to acquire money. Yung tinatawag po natin kapit sa pat patalim. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not put our trust in earthly things, but rather our hope is in our Lord, in Jesus Christ, the Son of David. Many people are drunk with power that they worship their position in civil office, for example. Or people think that they are the law and they oppress people. They oppress those under them, those who are subject to them. There are many instances that we turn to false idols. Sometimes even here in the Basilica, we find people who are very superstitious. Instead of turning to God for healing, they turn to quack doctors or faith healers. Sometimes we even doubt where do they get their power. But one thing is sure, if we want to be saved, if we want, my dear brothers and sisters, to a hope that would be fulfilled, we have to rest our hopes, our needs, and above all, ourselves to the Son of David. And the Son of David has come to establish his kingdom, and that kingdom has started, and that kingdom will have no end.
It is our faith in Jesus, the Christ of God, which unites us all, members of this community. In his name, let us bring our intentions before the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church leaders may be zealous in proclaiming the truth of the divinity of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer, that unity, peace, and harmony may become a reality, especially in nations where people suffer discrimination on account of race, gender, class, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that young people may recognize the voice of Christ calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our beloved dead may rest, may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge you as our only Lord. Keep us under your care and grant the prayers we have made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over the open heart of the Savior, all might throw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory, O Sada, in the highest, O Sada, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. One of the soldiers opened his side with a lance, and at once there came forth blood and water. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth 
and married to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned, and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us, to reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan, 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the Star of Evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her, as our mahal na ina, form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead, to us God our Father, for help in our need, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Let us pray the prayer before the crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, 
Your prophet said of you, my Jesus, They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day, no dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.